Okay, so where we're up to, we've got the main file, got that working, and it, when it starts, it's, it's starting up storyboard and then sending us straight to the game.lua file. And um, what we're going to do in this video is, rather we want the main file or the entry point file to take us to the start file, and then when we press the screen, take us to the game file, and then uh, some sort of collision or something happening, we go to the restart file. Okay, so let's try to get the start file working and maybe the restart. We might do that. We might need to do that later. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, but we're going to do this one right now. So, what I'm going to do is go to game. I'm going to copy everything. Select everything and copy it. Go to the start file. Now, a start file is going to be quite different to the game, but it's going to contain, in terms of the storyboard stuff, it's going to be set up the same way. So, we're going to keep quite a, well, the skeleton of it. So we've got, there's those. Uh, we don't need these functions. Okay, I'm getting rid of the three functions. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. We'll get there. Um, get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay, but we want to keep bits of, um, parts of the file parts of the create scene where we because we do want some graphics on there. Okay, um I'm getting rid of left city two because we want one city to show. We don't need the jet. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Again so inside the create scene, left the background, left city two, because we want to show one city. This can stay the same so we don't need the physics engine in start. We really need that to start in the game.little file. Everything else that should be okay. Um, Alright, let's change the background image. So we've got here in the graphics there's a start screen which actually says the words start on it. So rather than load the background, I'm going to load start. And now we need to go to the main file and say go to start not game so it's going to go to the start well and that's good we're getting somewhere we've got the start graphic I uh, can't see the city Let's see if we get an error no oh well um just wondering why is this graphic not showing up um, Anyway, um, rest of it is kind of working. We're getting something. So, um, let's. View is we just need to set it to zero, and that should work. Okay, that's not the one we want. Let's switch it to city two graphic. It might look a bit better. Okay, well, still looks pretty dodgy, but we'll live with it. Okay, um, now. What we need to add here is when we actually press anywhere on the screen, we actually want to go to the game.lua file. So, to do that, we're going to need a touch event, because we're going to need to respond to um, someone touching the screen. So, um, let's start by, um, well, in the, uh, let's, to the background, let's add a um, an event listener. So, we add event listeners inside enter scene. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to say, what was the name of that variable? Background. Okay, I'll just copy and paste it. Background. Hey, you, when... Oh, well, we're just adding an event listener, so... Oh my gosh. Okay, so add event listener. And it's going to be a touch event, and I'm going to call a function called start. Okay, so I'm going to say function start and um I'll just pass in the event and um okay so um what we want to say here is if now we need to use those event dot phase things again so we want this to happen as soon as uh they press the screen we don't need to account for when they lift their finger off the screen like we did with the movement of the actual jet let's just check if we can get some, like, let's 
just check our event's actually working. So we should see at the moment if this works when we press this. So I'm clicking it a few times. And then if we go to the console, okay, the next global background. Okay, I think we're getting our local things again. Okay, take out the local. Try this again, click it a few times, and there we go, it's working. Okay, so um, we know that when we touch the screen, this function's been called, and this if statement is true, so it's running what's in there. What we actually want to say in here is just storyboard. Um, we want a storyboard dot go to scene, and the scene we want to go to is the game.lua file. We can also add some effects, like have it fade. Uh, it'll basically fade the um, the next screen in. So let's just check this. So we press it. Okay, we're not going there. Uh, what do we got here? Line 23 of start. Line 25 of start, actually. Right, let's check that. Um, here, okay, so it doesn't like this for some reason. Um, Right. Okay, so uh, I just had a quick look, and a few things I've noticed we've got to do is when we use Storyboard, we create this screen group, and we've actually got to add any graphics that we add, variables we create that have graphics. We need to say screen group colon insert the name of whatever variable is holding the graphics. So we need to actually add that there. And we need to do the same thing for our other graphic, which at the moment is called City2, so I'm going to add those. Okay, the other thing um, we'll need to do is um, in Exit Scene, we need to, just like we added an event listener, we need to, when we exit the scene, we want to remove that uh, event listener that we added, because we don't want it to exist in the next screen. Alright, let's see how we're going. Okay, that's alright. Um, when we get to game, that thing's still dropping out of the sky, so let's see if we not getting... Well, it's still getting the touch event in there, but... Okay, anyway, our start screen's working, which is good, so again, if we restart this, so it's going to the start screen, we click on that, and we're going here, but now the jet's not responding. One thing we've got to do is, um, if we just go to the game.lua file, is what I just did about the screen group and the insert, I forgot to do last video here, so let's just fix that quickly. So I'm coming back here, just copying, I'm only back here so I can copy that line, switch back to the game.lua file, and start adding all these. So that's that one. And city one. Sorry, it's a bit tedious. Um, city 2. City 3. City 4. And down here, the jet. Okay, I still think we're not going to have that same problem, though, with the jet not responding. Oh, no. It's back. Okay, I fixed it. Alright, so that's pretty good. Um, so that's a lot of storyboard working. I mean, what we need, what we'll, I think we'll do now is we'll um, bring those mines through, and then when we collide with them, um, yeah, well, so we'll add all the collisions, the enemies and the collisions next video, and then once they're going, we can go to the restart screen, and then we've just got some sort of basic setup, sort of, well, intro stuff, and yeah, anyway, we're going pretty well. We've got storyboard working. So, um, yeah, okay.